What's happening, people? This is Anup, uh, Master Teacher of Science here at Vedantu. Welcome to today's session. I hope that all of you guys are having a good day and taking care of yourself. It's very important, people. I can't stress this enough. Coronavirus is not over. You hear that in every call that you make. And it's really, really, really true. So make sure that you take every precaution needed, people. Anyways, welcome to today's session. This here is going to be session number two for gravitation for CBC 9th and once again my name is Anup and welcome to Vedantu 9th and 10th English channel. Now before we get started, you know the drill, like, share, subscribe and spread the word people, spread the love. Let all the others also know that there is this channel existing right now to help you guys make better of your, you know, time there is. Anyways, so people in today's session will be understanding one of the most important concepts of gravitation that is Kepler's law of planetary motion and this is not just something that is related to the topic but if you're someone who's interested in you know in astronomy and want to study more about space science and all that these are the basic laws that you must know for you know you know advance in those fields. So that's it guys let us get started but as always there's a quote for you and the quote for today is this guys never give up on yourself no matter what people say around you you should believe in yourself and never ever doubt yourself never ever give up no matter how hard the task is there is you know where there's a will there's a way people that's all i have to say no matter how hard it is you want to score 90 percent and you're like you don't know where to get your help from or what to do don't give up on yourself you can do it by yourself make sure that you believe in your abilities all right i know this is something that you've been hearing for a long time now and this is just a repetition for you guys but these are cold hard truth people so make sure that you do that with that said people let's get into today's session that is kepler's law of planetary motion so in the last session i've given you a homework you guys know the drill people every session we have a homework and i expect you guys to let me know what is the answer in the comment section below see how many of you guys are able to give the right answer so here's the question guys what is the unit of g which is nothing but the universal gravitational constant and the answer to that question is uh, Newton meter square per kg square. That is the answer. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. So Newton meter square per kg square is the answer for this question. Because if you remember the formula, F is equal to GMM divided by R square. So what is G? G is equal to what? It will be uh, MM. Sorry, you can. Yeah, so it will be FR square divided by MM. The SI unit of force is Newton. The SI unit of distance is meters. So it'll be meter square divided by uh, SI unit of uh, mass is kg. So it'll be kg square. That's all. Dun, 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 right? Anyways, so we will today will be understanding about Kepler's law of planetary motion. Now, once again, my throat is a little bad. It's a little itchy. So if I cough or do some weird noises and all that, please ignore it. All right. So first thing is the Kepler's first law of planetary motion. First of all, there are three law laws related to or made or formulated by Kepler. First of all, let me tell you who Kepler is. Kepler was one of the greatest astronomical or uh, astrologist, not astrologist, yeah, astrophysicist. You can say that uh, yeah, during his time. This was, uh, I'm talking about in the 17th century, where he spent his entire life on studying about stars and planets all throughout the year, all throughout the day, all he did was think about, you know, how the uh, the, the world around uh, us is. And that's how he came up with all these three important laws. First of all, guys, you already know this drill that moon revolves around the sun. And in the same way, earth revolves around the sun as well. Sorry. Yeah. The moon revolves around the earth and the earth revolves around the sun. Sorry about that. Anyways. Now. We all know this. We already know this. We, I have seen this. We have learned about this several times in the past. But the question is this, guys. Does the Earth revolve around the Sun in a circular orbit? What do you guys think? Definitely not. It's not exactly a circle. Instead, what it is, is an elongated circle. It's like if you take a circle and you pull from both the sides, that is what the actual orbit looks like. So it is not exactly a circle, but instead it's this elongated circle, which is called as an ellipse. So now remember this guys, a circle has one center or in other words, I can say that it has one focus, right? So if I take two focus, let's say on a circle, the both the focus will be on the exact same 
point which is nothing but the center of the circle but in the ellipse what you do is that when you elongate the circle the focus of that also becomes two that means what i'm trying to say is this case an ellipse has two focus it does not have just one but instead it has two but whereas a circle has only one focus or you can say that two focus are on the exact same point but in the ellipse there are two focus now you must be wondering sir what exactly is this focus focus you're talking about do not worry guys you'll be studying this in your mathematics pretty soon when you study about geometry and all that you'll understand what focus is for now just remember this guys that ellipse has two foci or focus focus is the singular term foci is the plural term so it has two foci simple now according to kepler's law the first law which is also called as a law of orbit he said that he stated that all planets revolve around the sun in an elliptical path with sun at one of the foci like i told you there are two focuses in an ellipse so the sun is at one of the foci of every single planet so all the planets are revolving around an ellipse and the sun is one uh, at is that one of the focus and this is the first kepler's law now this is what he stated but how did he prove it that's also important right how did he prove it using the second law of planetary motion he proved the first one so what is this second law of kepler's motion remember this guys it's very very important let's say that there's a planet revolving around the sun let's say that earth is revolving around the sun this is, let's say that this is earth over here all right so this is earth revolving around the sun in an elliptical path now if i join a line line an imaginary line that is starting from the center of the earth to the center of the sun right this is that line let's say this that i in 10 days time this is uh, let's say it's november it's november right so in november 10 days time obviously the planet is continuously revolving so let's say let's say it's an, it's, it's an example so in november november in 10 days time the earth has moved from here to this position all right from there also i'm going to draw a straight line that is say from the center of the earth to the center of the sun right simple so the it has covered some area it has covered some distance so i can find out this area basically right this is it has covered some area and the time taken for that to do is t seconds or t days or t whatever that is whatever the time frame you're taking it can be months it can be days it totally depends on you now let's say this that in march right march of 2021 let's say that the earth is over here right? march this is november in march is over there now in the next 10 days i'm going to take 10 days as constant so from march let's say from march 1st to march 10th the earth has gone all the way from here to here all right so here also i'm going to draw a straight line that joins the center of the earth to the center of the sun same over here as well from the center of the earth to the center of the sun simple now this also that means they have covered some distance and so i can find out whatever this area is right let's say this that in december that is 2021 december december 1st the position of the earth was over here and december 10th the position of the earth is over here again 10 days i'm just taking time is constant time is kept constant all right i am taking 10 days of all the three months all right so in 10 days time that is t is equal to 10 10 days it's moved some distance again if i draw a straight line joining the center of the earth to the center of the sun i'll get some area that is covered by the earth now according to kepler's second law this area that is swept by the planet is going to be same if the time is kept constant or the time is equal now once again whatever is this area this area will be equal to this area this area will be equal to this area as long as the time is kept constant whatever is the area swept by the planet is going to be the same regardless of where the of where the planet is in its orbit as long as the time is kept constant the area swept by the planet is going to be same for wherever the planet is if the planet is over here also it's going to be the same if the planet is over here also it's going to be the same it is going to be the same no matter where simple all right so once again to read it out kepler noticed that the imaginary line drawn from the planet 
to the earth swept an equal area of space in equal time regardless of where the planet was in the orbit now this is very very important guys i hope you understood this once again i'm going to repeat it listen very carefully i'm going to take 10 days constant let's say that from november 1st to november 10th the distance covered by the earth is so much it has moved so much in the orbit so if i draw a straight line from the center of the earth to the center of the sun or from both the positions it are it are covered some area if i found out that area and if i find out what is the distance covered or basically i'll take another time frame let's say that in march from the uh, march 1st to march 10th i see that the earth has moved from there to there and if i draw a straight line from the center of the earth to the sun and again find out the area that area would be equal to this area that's what that is what is your kepler's second law of you know orbital motions all right now here's the thing is for this to happen for this to happen this means that the earth has to be fast when it's going near the sun and it has to be slow when it's far away from the sun only then it will be able to cover so much distance i mean so much area only then the area would be constant otherwise how the area be constant if the area has to be constant that means the speed is not constant the speed is changing continuously so this means that when the planet when the planet is near the earth it moves faster but when it's further away from the sun it moves slower and this is how he proved that all planets are revolving around the sun in an elliptical path not a circular path because if it was a circular path obviously if the sun is exactly in the center and if it's a circular path the speed at which the earth would be moving would be the same but you see this that it is not exactly you know uh, what to say it is not exactly moving at the same speed because it's not moving at the same speed the area is going to be constant and that's how he proved that the planets are revolving around the sun in an elliptical path simple or right, is now to define in your exams how do you write it this is called as the law or law of areas and how do you define it the line joining the planet and the sun sweeps equal area in equal interval of time once again the line joining the planet and the sun sweeps equal areas in equal interval of time that's all all right moving on to the third law of planetary motion now, this is going to be a super interesting one now he also wanted to show that planets who are further away from the sun have larger orbital period for example earth's orbital period around 300 is around 365 days so if you go further and further away like for example jupiter and saturn and all of that they have longer much much longer orbital period that means what is orbital period is nothing but the time taken for the planet to complete one revolution around the sun the time taken for it to complete one revolution around the sun is called as orbital period and for earth it's 365 days that's what we call it as one year but if you talk about jupiter and other planets it takes like 12 years and so to complete one revolution so he wanted to show that there is a relationship between the distance from the sun and the time taken for it to complete one revolution so what is that third kepler's law he stated that if you find out the mean distance the mean distance for that is the distance from the center of the planet to the center of the sun which we take it as r the distance taken as r if you cube that value whatever is that distance from the center of the sun uh, center of the sun to the center of that planet which one planet it is if you cube that distance that is proportional not equal but proportional to the time period or the square of the orbital period or the time period for it to complete one revolution once again whatever is the distance whatever is the mean distance from the center of the sun to the center of the planet if you cube that value that is proportional to the square of the orbital period that is proportional to the square of the orbital period so whatever is the so it's directly that means that if the distance is more the time taken for it to complete is also more and the distance you're going to cube it that is going to be proportional to the square of the time period for it to complete one revolution and this is going to be constant for every planet for earth it's a different value for mars it is it's a different value for jupiter it's a different value for saturn it's a different value and that's going to be constant no matter which planet you take that value is going to remain the same and this here is also called as the law of periods or you can also call it as the law of harmonics so by that people 
we have successfully studied what are the three Kepler's law that's all so this is the formula if they ever ask you it's r cube which is nothing but the distance from the center of the sun to the center of the planet uh, the cube of that divided by the square of the orbital period is going to be constant for a particular planet now you might be asked some problems based on this as well so do not forget this guys that's it for the third Kepler's law as well just to revise everything the first law which is called the law of orbits all planets revolve around the sun in an elliptical path with sun at one of the foci the second law is called as the law of area that means that the uh, the when a light when a you know planet is revolving around the sun if you draw a line an imaginary line from the center of the sun to the center of the planet it sweeps equal distance or equal area in equal interval of time not equal distance but equal area in equal interval of time and for this to happen that means that the planet is going fast when it's near the sun and it's going slower when it's away from the sun and finally which is called as a law of harmonics or the, or the law of period it says that the cube of the mean distance of a planet from the sun is proportional to the square of the orbital period that's all people you guys successfully completed the Kepler's third law. Congratulations! I hope you guys understood this. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys found this, you know, found this explanation easy or not. Let's see if I can, you know, find another better way to explain it in a simpler way, or maybe even show it to you guys. Probably in the form of an experiment. Let me know in the comment section if you guys would love it or not. So that's it, guys. Before we get into the questions, I have a super amazing news for you people. Super amazing. Trust me, guys. You're gonna love this. After that, we'll do the quiz as well. All right. Now, here's the thing. First of all, we are actually put up a poll on YouTube asking you people what are the problems that you people are facing during this quarantine time because a lot has changed, right? Ever since quarantine, your life has changed a lot. You don't get to go to school. There's a lot of problems happening right now. And we were, uh, you know, we had, we were obviously concerned about you guys and asked about what are the problems that you guys are facing. So these are the things that you guys came up with. First thing, doubts, right? It's a very important thing because you when you start studying you get a lot of doubts and getting your doubts cleared has become a big issue there are a lot of websites out there but they take about 24 hours to 48 hours and you don't really want to wait for 24 or 48 hours to get a simple doubt cleared so that's become a very big problem secondly your notes because you are studying from a lot of youtube channels including this one and a lot of other you know channels as well but getting the handwritten notes of the teacher has become a very big problem most of the time 90 percent of the time you don't get out get the uh, notes now sometimes we actually put the notes in the description you can find this uh you know in the description as well but yes majority of the time that is not an option so getting that is a very big problem thirdly tests and assignments because you don't really want to go and write your exams uh, your final exams especially if you you know without practicing so how do you test uh, yourself if you're doing good or not if you're on the right path or not so that's also an important one fourthly competitive exams because your NTSCs are coming up you have a lot of competitive exams that you guys have planned to write your NSOs, ISOs, your Olympiads and whatnot so so many exams are coming up so how do you prepare yourself for that fifthly choice of your own schedule because that has also become a very big problem wherein when you don't feel like starting at five o'clock you don't attend those sessions so that's another problem so how do you choose your own time that you are comfortable in and fifth your language right because not everyone understands english the whole reason why this vidanta ninth that english channel was created in particular was to make sure that you guys are able to understand the medium of communication but it's not always possible that we all understand english that's not that's an i know that's that's just an uh, absurd thing to say that everyone must understand english so how do you choose your own language that you're comfortable with right that is also a big problem now these are all the problems but what's the solution right that's it. Go find your own solution? No. People, we have solved all of these problems. At Vedanto, we are immensely proud to say this, that we have successfully solved all of your problems. You may ask, sir, how? In your class, people, you will not just have the master teacher. Yes, master teacher will be there to help you clear your doubts and your, you know, conceptions, uh, conceptual doubts and everything. But together with that, you will also have the class teacher. The class teacher's job is to make sure that your doubts are cleared inside the class itself. So whatever doubts you have will be covered inside the class. You don't walk out of the class with more doubts. Instead, you'll be walking out with a clear set of ideas of what you had learned in the class. You can download all the notes 
whatever is available whatever the teacher has written even the slightest of slightest thing even a simple dot that the teacher has made can be downloaded i can you can read it and make sense of that of that doubt you know, of that dot as well apart from that you can also watch the recordings guys so if you if in case you miss out a class or something you can always watch the recordings and get to know what happened in the previous sessions you will have regular tests and assignments and based on these tests and assignments you will also be getting a detailed report card as well which tells you where you're going wrong what things you have to improve on what things you have to work on every single detail would be there in that detailed report card you'll be trained for your competitive exams and in fact i'll be telling that towards the end of the session as well that you will be uh, you know given training for your competitive exams as well your olympiads NTSCs, KVPY, whatever exams that you are planning, right? You'll be trained for that as well. You can choose your own schedule, whatever time you feel is comfortable. You can choose that time and study in that time. There's no compulsion that you have to study at this time at two o'clock, three o'clock. No, whatever time you feel is comfortable, you can study in that time. The, the discretion is completely uh, up to you people and you can choose your own language now here at this point we are not offering sessions in all your uh, you know uh, regional languages but however we are giving you sessions in both english as well as in hindi so if you're someone who's comfortable with english you can go with that if you're someone who's comfortable with hindi you can choose that as well all right people yes guys apart from all of these you also have unlimited live classes all micro courses and crash courses free performance report card like i told you and personalized attention with the help of the class teacher now what you have to do is very simple guys you have to click on the link that is given in the description below and like i told you i have a surprise for you people all the prices that i'm going to be telling today has been discounted to 50 percent so whatever courses that i'm going to tell you right now is going to have a huge discount on it with 50 percent discount and this is going to be valid only till 11th of november so it's going to be a very short time period that you have to make this short so please guys click on the link that is given in the description below and do not forget the coupon code ame pro so what you have to do is basically click on the link that is given once you click on the link they'll ask you which grade do you belong to 1 to 12th is what is the choice that you have let's say you're in 10th or 9th grade once you click on it they'll ask you which board do you belong to cbc ic or marasha click on the board that you belong to that of that so it's a board and this is what you're gonna get everything that i just told you in detail what you have to do is click on get subscription once you click on get subscription this is what you're gonna be asked one three or six let's Let's say you want to go for the one month program the base price of this one month program is four thousand rupees which i know is a lot of money personally i know that so guys you get a primary discount on that and the price slashes down to 2699 on top of that till 11th of november if you use the coupon code ame pro you get additional 1349 rupees discount on that 2699 and the base price or the price that you'll be paying for the whole month is just 1349 rupees now again guys this is only going to be valid till 11th of november so make use of this opportunity let's say you want for the three month program this is a bigger discount the base price is added 10,000 rupees but again it slashes down to 6999 on top of that if you use the coupon code ame pro do not forget this coupon code ame pro you get additional 3500 rupees discount and what you'll be paying for the next three months is 3500 rupees or 3499 rupees that's hardly like 1100 rupees probably per month for you know for this all the things that i just told you with one of the best online platforms with quizzes in every single session with an interactive mode of teaching trust me guys you would love it let's say you want to go for the six month program the base price that is 10 16 rupees but again it slashes down to 11,499. on top of that if you use the coupon code ame pro guys think about it 5749 rupees discount is what you're gonna get and what you'll be paying for the next six months is 5749 rupees that's not even thousand rupees for you know for a month and you can attend how many of live classes you want in that time period. Totally up to you guys. You want to attend 20 live classes in a day? Go ahead, do it. And this is the surprise that I had for you people. So once again, the link is given in the description below. And the coupon code is AME Pro. And it's only valid till 11th of November. So do not forget to, you know, avail the offer. Anyways, so that's the case. Let's get into some questions now. Yeah, solve, solve some questions. Now again, I want all of you guys to let me know what is the answer in the comment section below. Do not just copy my answers. No, I don't like it. 
you guys have to let me know what is the answer in the comment section below so that you know you get a good practice of what you're doing as well so here's the first question is let me know what is the answer for this one in the comment section below the orbital path of a satellite has two focal points when both focal points are together is it that the satellite's path is an ellipse is it that the satellite's path is a circle is it that the satellite's path is a straight line or none of these an orbital path of a satellite has two focal points right but the focal points are together what does that mean that means that the satellite is moving in a circular path remember this guys in an ellipse those two focal points are separated but in a circle it's going to be the same point and hence option number b would be the right answer good start second question knowing how long a planet takes to orbit the sun he helps scientists determine the distance that planet is from the sun is this kepler's first second or third law so here's the thing guys see it's easy for us to calculate the time period the time taken for the planet to revolve around the sun but it's much more harder to find out the distance from the sun but if you know the orbital period you can find out the distance so which is that law that helps us in doing so is it the first law second law or the third law or none of the and the answer people is going to be definitely option number c it's uh that thing but the third law or the law of harm harmonics or the law of periods that is the answer for this question well done people third third question here we go kepler's first law is called as what law of area law of periods law of orbits or none of these very very simple question again and the answer to this question is option number c law of orbits why because kepler's first law states that all planets revolve around the sun in an elliptical path and hence law of orbits last question people consider a moon that orbits one of four most distant planet one of our most distant uh, planets in an elliptical path the distance that the moon covers each day is greatest when closest to the planet the greatest when it's furthest from the planet or the same everywhere or data is in insufficient or insufficient for you to you know come to that conclusion once again consider a moon that orbits one of our most distant planet in an elliptical path let's say that it's you know it's neptune all right the distance from the moon covers each day the distance the moon covers each day is greatest when it's closest to the planet greatest when it's furthest away from the planet same everywhere or data is insuff insufficient and the answer guys is option number a why so remember this guys because if a planet is uh, if a you know moon or if a planet or a moon is moving in an elliptical path when it's closer to the planet because of gravitation it moves a little bit more faster when it's further away from that particular planet it'll move slower and that's how we proved the second law right the law of you know area we have already seen that that is the answer for this question all right with that said do not worry this is a homework for you people let me know what is the answer in the comment section below and do not forget to leave a like share and subscribe to the channel as well people the question is this dash is time a, a, okay dash is time a given astronomical object takes a complete one orbit around another or object the question is dash is time given a time a given astronomical object takes a to complete one orbit around the other object i'm sorry for the wordings but i'm pretty sure you understand the question let me know what is the answer in the comment section below once again guys leave a like share and subscribe but before we end today's session guys i have one more important thing to tell you guys it's about the master uh, scholarship test you guys already know that we have been starting this scholarship program as well and the scholarship amount the pool amount is 100 crore rupees and you can get 100 percent scholarship for your je need as well as your CBC exam preparation as well. So exams or you have tests every Sunday at 3 p.m. And it's going to be from 25th of October to 29th of October. So if you haven't done it already, do it guys. And this is for grade 6 to grade 13. That is inclu including the repeaters. Everyone can take a part in this. And these are the results that proves that Vedantu has been doing wonders for the past couple of years now. So we have about 548 ranks all across India with about 268 ranks in the top 10K. And this is I'm talking about advanced JE, which is one of the toughest exams in the world, not just in India, but in the world itself. And one out of three students actually who were at Vedantu uh, secured a good rank as well. 27 students in NEET scored about 600 and 46 students scored about 550. Again, in NEET itself, in, in 10th and 12th, it's around 171 students scored 90% above in 10th and 157 students scored 90% above in their 12th board exam as well. You could also be one of these names one day 
all you have to do is click on the link that is given and also take part in the you know exams as well guys so that's it thank you for joining leave a like share subscribe thank you for joining people once again if you want to reach out to me you can always reach out to me at anup.manoran at the rate vidanto.com so until the next time we this is Anup signing off for the night for the day for the night see you all the next one take care of yourself bye bye people take care